you're getting in this race at a time when there are already quite a few Republicans running for governor. Why are you a better choice for voters than they are? I think I differentiate myself by my accomplishments. Um, you know, it's, it doesn't really necessarily matter what you're for. It's what can you get done. Jake Corman is looking to trade his position in the legislature for the state's top executive job. I sat down with him for his first interview as he launches a campaign to replace Democrat Tom Wolf, who cannot run for another term and whose handling of the pandemic has gotten critical reviews from Republicans. I'm going to empower people. I'm going to empower our local communities uh, to make decisions. I think that's where these decisions have been made. In recent months, Senator Corman has also been involved in a Republican-led push to conduct an investigation of the 2020 election in Pennsylvania, a state that President Trump lost. The former president has repeatedly made false claims about Pennsylvania's election and publicly pushed Corman and others. This summer, President Trump called you out by name and asked, why is Jake Corman of Pennsylvania fighting so hard that there not be a forensic audit of the 2020 presidential election scam? Did you cave to what former President no. Trump wanted? No, look, uh, you know, governing uh, takes time. It's methodical. You got to do things correctly. Uh, we obviously had concerns in the Senate Republican Caucus about the 2020 election. Our constituents, there's nothing that I've heard more from my constituents on the street than the issues dealing around the 2020 election. The investigation requests personal information of voters for what Corman is calling a forensic audit. We just don't want to ignore it and move on. Because uh, people, you know, again, many people come to me and said they had concerns. So uh, we'll go but just through. because they have. <laughs> Concerns, does that mean that it warrants the resources yeah, absolutely. of the state? Again, there's nothing more important uh, than in a democracy than people having faith uh, in the electoral process. Right now, Harrisburg is divided. Governor Wolf, a Democrat, but Republicans, including Corman and others, controlling the legislature. That's meant Republicans supported bills on certain issues, including abortion, have not become law. But voters could change that. I asked Corman if he would support a bill like the controversial Texas one restricting abortions. I will continue to be a pro-life uh, governor. Uh, but, uh, you know, as far as hypotheticals, let's just wait and see. The courts haven't given us that opportunity as of yet. Uh, when they make that decision, we'll react to it at that point. Would you want it to be more difficult to get an abortion in Pennsylvania if you're elected? Yeah, well, look, I, I want to limit unwanted pregnancies, the, the, the need for people to have an abortion. That's, that's, that's something we can all that's agree different. on. Abortion, already an issue in the 2022 race that so far has one Democratic candidate and now one more Republican.